are Malcolm Maddox in Oxford, where the power's out for a number of families there. And Malcolm, any word yet? Yeah, Glenda, I just got off the phone with DTE, and they are working around the clock. As you mentioned, they got guys in from various states, I believe 11 other states, as well as Washington, D.C., trying to get the power back on. But as you mentioned, that might not happen until tomorrow. And I'd imagine tomorrow there will be a lot of people wishing that they had generators for Christmas. It's been really cold. It's a cool 61 degrees in the Harrison house, despite their best efforts to warm things up. Is the fireplace, is that heating you guys right now? I mean, it heats about, you know, three or four foot out. That's where Angela's teenage daughter has set up camp. This small generator powers the TV, the fridge, and a small heater in the living room. We're not really sure what we'll do if we don't get the power back. That's because she's supposed to be cooking Christmas dinner for 25. I told my kids it might be uh, ham roll-ups, crab dip, and uh, fresh veggies and ranch dressing for Christmas dinner. And it's the same story all over this White Lake neighborhood. And if you listen closely, you'll see it's the sound of generators and not holiday music filling the air. This one is provided by Comcast, and it keeps everyone's cable running. But this one at the Johnson House, well, it does a pretty good job of powering just about everything. We've had pretty good luck with the generator, and we have it wired into the home, so it's just filling up with gas twice a day, and it's kind of an inconvenience and expensive after a while, too. Yeah, the good news for folks who actually get their power through DTE is that they may get their power on tomorrow, but it could be before then. It could be uh, just minutes from now for, for all I know. However, if you have consumer's energy for your power supply or power provider, you may have to wait as long as Saturday before the lights come back on. Malcolm Maddox, 7 Action News.